I got Canadian Canadian problems. Nice and frosty. And I can't find my scraper. Uh, so there's that. Welcome to week three. Uh, gonna be a good week. So this week I wanted to take a little bit of a different approach with uh, the video. So in past weeks we've kind of given you a broad view of everything we've accomplished throughout that week for our renovation. Now instead this week I want to focus on a specific topic. That topic being how to finish off a laminate countertop edge. So now when most of you guys are even us and I when we renovate, uh, we don't always have stone countertops like granite or quartz or marble in our budgets and we often have to resort to using an off-the-shelf laminate countertop for something like a bathroom vanity. So this week I'd like to show you guys how to finish a laminate edge from just a standard off-the-shelf laminate countertop. So let's dive on in. What we're going to use for a top is just an off-the-shelf laminate top that we picked up at Lowe's. Now you can find them at Home Depot or Lowe's or really any of the other building stores and then cut it to fit the size that you need. Now when you're cutting a laminate surface, like countertops like this, you're going to want to protect it from the actual saw blade itself. So I'll often use something just like painter's masking tape, and that stops it from chipping as the saw blade is ripping through it. Now the other thing you're going to want to use is a relatively fine toothed blade. So originally I had this on my saw, which is just a 24 tooth kind of framing type ripping blade, but it's going to make an absolute mess of the laminate surface. What you want to switch that out for is something like this. I'll show you a little closer which has 60 teeth on it and is meant for more fine finish type work. One of the downsides to buying laminate countertops just off the shelf is they come with unfinished edges. And this gets only worse, especially when you make cuts like we did, changing the size of that laminate countertop. So what you need to do in order to protect that particle board, as well as just give it that nice clean look, is finish off those edges. Usually you can just buy an end cap kit that you'll see underneath or somewhere near the laminate countertops in the store. And what we'll do is we'll actually jump back into the video now and I'll walk you through the steps in order to finish the laminate edges on your countertop. When you purchase an end cap kit, it'll already come with pre-cut sections or pieces that are meant to increase the thickness of your edges. So the first step is going to be gluing and nailing these pieces to your actual countertop. Now you'll see here that I use clamps to help hold it in place while I'm nailing the piece to my actual countertop. I find this far easier than trying to glue and hold with my hands while somehow simultaneously nailing that piece in. Give that about 15 minutes to start setting up before we move on to the next step. In the meantime, go plug in your iron and let it heat up to its hottest setting. Now the reason I say it's hottest setting is because most modern irons don't actually get nearly as hot as the older flat bottomed irons. You want your iron to be somewhere around 300 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Grab an old rag or towel to use in between your iron and the laminate piece you are gluing onto the edge of your countertop. Use your rag to protect the piece of laminate that you're attaching to your countertop. Place the iron against the edge of your countertop, laminating that piece to your countertop itself. You're going to want to hold your iron there for a good 15 to 20 seconds in order to melt the glue on the back of that piece. Continue repeating this process until you've glued the entire piece of laminate to the edge of your countertop.
Once you feel your piece of laminate is firmly attached to the side of your countertop, grab a scrap piece of wood to help force the glue into the pores of the particle board. You may need to repeat this process once or twice if you find any areas that are not firmly attached. The final step is the most delicate and time-consuming part of the entire process. Start by using a utility knife to help trim away some of the excess laminate that is above the top and bottom of the countertop. The next step will be using a series of files to help file it down nice and smooth, creating a perfect edge from the laminated piece you put on to the laminated countertop itself. I like to start with a round file with some rough edges to it. This helps remove more material in the initial stages before getting down to that final filing where we smoothen out that edge. I finish my joint with a series of flatter and smoother files until my corner is nice and clean between my laminated edge and the countertop itself. The final step will be to flip the countertop over and repeat the filing process on the underside. So you'll probably notice that I didn't do a ton of filming this week and uh, there's a couple reasons for that. One, we were a little bit ahead of schedule. Um, I guess that's the bigger reason. Two, there just wasn't a lot to film, uh, and we were mostly waiting on the electricians to come do the rough end. So I figured instead of filming and showing you a bunch of random stuff or stuff you've already seen before, like more sanding and more mudding and sanding and mudding, I'd just give you a bit of a tour of what we did get accomplished this week so you have an idea of where the renovation is at, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So let's take a little quick tour. All right, so when we come down the hallway now, you can see our big wide open space. You notice all of the electrical is roughed in up here. Little dangling wires hanging down with a few pigtails to give me some light. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of the major thing out here. You'll also notice that the Billy bookcases, the custom built in shelves we're working on, are starting to be finished up so we need a little bit more trim work on this side and a little bit more trim work along the bottom still but they're starting to take shape although it doesn't look like we got a ton done this week actually i feel like we're at a really good place for kind of what the 15th day of the renovation now um, all of our rough and electrical is finished and now we can really kind of make a push towards that finish so drywalling getting the ceiling in getting the flooring in etc the stuff that really allows a room to start taking shape so with that, that brings us to the end of week three. Hit that subscribe button below and make sure to click on that little bell icon too so you'll get notifications every time we release a new video. Um, it's always on Mondays, so just, just know that. It's always on Mondays. Uh, and with that, we'll see you guys next Monday.